okay here with me it's my Ankara fabric the pins and the mold it's not yet dry it's still a bit wet so I'll be taking off the pins the scissors the measuring tape so as it stands now I'll be using a plier right is this a no a screwdriver to remove the pins So as you can see, I'm done removing the thumb pins, so I'll have to cut out the quantity of Ankara fabric I'll be using for this particular mold. So the thing is, most times I will just replace the mold and see the quantity of materials I'll be cutting to be enough. That will be enough for the blocking. So as you can see, I'm already cutting it out and... Um, I think this should be enough this will actually go round and um, we'll have to start blocking just sit tight and keep watching and learning okay as usual we we'll always block with the use of north south are we right north south west and east direction at first then afterwards we'll now be taking one segment to the opposite segment hope you understand by the time i'm done with the north south that's um cross direction if you want i think that should be better then you now take one direction and pin them down afterwards you go to the opposite direction of the pinned area then pin again because it will actually help your fabric to stay accurately well instead of you pinning directly next to the ones you've pinned it might make the fabric shift or tweet a little bit so to avoid such when you finish pinning one part you go to opposite part of it and pin the other side so that is what i actually did in this part of the tutorial section and I'm also at, I'm going to be encouraging you to please keep watching because the main thing is yet to come I don't want um, you to start feeling ah, is this just what she taught in, this, uh, in the tutorial no we still have more for you to watch so be patient this is just a tutorial session of which you should be you should also have the time to learn So as you can see, I'm almost done with the pinning. This is just the way you should pin your Ankara fabric. Every other person might have their own method, but this is my method. And most times, all the time, it works for me. Make sure that your mold is not yet dry. That's the blocked paper mat. It's not yet dry before you apply your Ankara fabric. A lot of my trainees would always tell me, uh, when I put my Ankara fabric, I then mold, I then stiffen, and then the color starts removing. When you use this particular method, you won't experience such. So my advice is that you actually use this method, and actually you will not regret using this method. This had actually been working for me, and I hope you enjoy it when you do that. So as it stands now, I'm almost done with the blocking and um, at this point, when you are done with the blocking, all you need to do is go and dry them or dry it. When it's dry, you can now unblock, remove the pins, then finally remove your blocked hat.
or blocked fascinator then you can now start embellishing or do whatever you want to do with it so we are done with this particular one now we'll be moving to the second stage so at this stage now i'll be teaching you how to form your heartinator that's the picture you saw before the starting of the tutorial so stay with me and at this point also subscribe if you haven't subscribed like and uh, give us a thumbs up and drop your comments if you have anything to share with us so right now i have my my mode unblocked already that's i've removed the um, the mode oh the yes i've removed the mode i have my feathers and i also have this particular crinoline strip if i may call it that way now how did i achieve that particular one i folded the crinoline then sewed the hems with a bias so as it stands now what i'm actually saying here is how to measure your measuring your millinery wire i've gotten a question asking me please how do you take the measurement of your millinery wire this is the way to do it take a measurement of your mold or you take a measurement of your blocked fascinator then you measure the exact measurement you get from it on the millinery wire add an inch for overlap then you cover up and then insert your millinery wire into your blocked hat so exactly what i did here uh, at this point i wouldn't be sewing down the the hems i would just glue it with a hot glue gun because i still want to work at the hems and please do not put the gum at the extreme end when you know you still have to sew on you know when you do that it will be difficult for you to sew on the hems so i was just applying little something that can still enable my pins to penetrate in so that was what i did here and afterwards i started adding my crinoline okay and um next is taking the measurement of crinoline size so if should in case you want to make exactly what i made here i think um i took almost 104 inches yes now if you want to go beyond what i've actually done you can take as much as 50 inches i mean 150 inches or 130 inches actually that one will give you like um four to five steps of the brim so that is it i think yes a 60 plus of 44 inches makes a 104 inches so that was what that's the measurement of my crinoline should in case if any other person wants to ask so here it now it's a one of four inches so now i'm sealing the edge of the crinoline to avoid losing any time in future and then um, i've gotten my needle and thread ready most times you know me i use uh an invisible thread as a fishing line so as it stands now i'll be giving it a pleat i'm sorry if you can't see it now i don't know how to drag my camera to my side and at the same time use my two hands so please if you are not seeing it just know that i pleated the center as you're working as you're stitching on the crinoline to the mold to the crown you stitch with a pleat style i mean you pleat your crinoline then you stitch along with it so that is just what i did there
okay now we are done with the first layer we and hope you like what you're seeing now we'll be entering the second layer of the brim which will incorporate the the uh, fabric the ankara fabric and at this stage before i start stitching i'll have to glue the part i've sewn so it can sit properly so that when i'm working on the second stage it doesn't maybe give a funny kind of curve i don't know if you understand what i mean but in order to just make the work progress neatly that is why i'm doing what i'm doing now so when you are done with that i i will take my needle and thread again but as it is now if you notice from the picture you notice that i didn't sew through the first layer went sewing the second layer i don't know if i'm speaking the english well i didn't sew the second layer through the first layer i actually took one part of the first layer and uh, tacked it with the second layer so it's not going to be obvious at the outer part of the brim so that is just what i did for the second layer if you look closely you understand me more like you know the first layer is um is a crinoline and it's folded into two right now the part i was stitching on was the one facing down the cream the brim so i wasn't stitching on the outer part of the crinoline i mean the other side of it facing outside of the crinoline oh my god english is my second language okay hope you understand me and that is just it just watch closely you understand what i'm trying to say if you wish to embellish you can do if you don't wish you can just rock a fascinator that way or hatinator that way it's just simple and classy but for me i will be distributing some pairs on it and especially at the crown where the flower is i'm actually going to pronounce it with the use of pairs and that is it and um i hope you like this particular hatinator if you like if you want to see more of this let me know from the comment down below and aside from that i would also want to hear your suggestions they are taking me far they are helping me to decide some topics to do and um your interest in it would actually matter to me and aside from that i was also i was actually contemplating on putting this feather but at some point i had to change my mind so thank you for watching this is the embellished work and i would like to see you again in our next tutorial video love you please subscribe like and share bye